This is Robin from the Back Pain Secret Podcast, and today we are going to talk about yoga. Specifically, if yoga can reduce your back pain, heal your back pain, or if it is dangerous and you shouldn't do it at all. So, here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us, who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery, heal our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life, and still manage our back pain? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem, and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Okay, guys, first off, uh, I like yoga, personally. I've done it off and on in my life, uh, periods of my life, and it has good benefits, and it has some stuff that you should watch out for as well. Okay, I'm just going to get that out in the open so you know what this uh, uh, episode is about. Okay, first off, there's almost like 435 million people doing yoga. Okay, so it's worldwide. It's big. A lot of people love it, but there is some stuff that you need to be cautious about. Okay, <clears throat> what yoga is, it's basically like a relaxation technique where you also have, you do specific mo- movements that, strengthens your body gives it uh, gives you stamina okay and the breathing stuff is also a big thing with yoga all in all this is uh, a treatment form yoga that has a lot of good stuff uh, if for your back if you have chronic back pain but and there's a big but there's also stuff that you need to watch out for, okay, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So first off, I'm going to have a little story, a little backstory, so you guys get some some connections with this. Uh, woo, a few years back, I had a, a patient in this this uh, room here. We can call him Chris, okay. And Chris was 25 years old. He was a very like uh, athletic athletic guy, okay. He was very fit. He was into CrossFit. He was um, into martial arts. He was a good runner. He had been playing like hockey when he was younger. And he was like 25 years old. He was like his peak, you know, he had a like really fit body, big time. So he came in because he was he's, um, starting to experience back pain and neck pain. And this stuff started when he started to yoga with his girlfriend, okay? So a few, few weeks back before when he came to meet me, he started to go to these yoga classes with his uh, girlfriend, okay? So they just met and he was trying to impress her and he was like, he was a fit guy, you know? He had a nice body and he had the six pack and all that, you know? So anyway, when he came in uh, and I started to do the examination on him, <clears throat> I noticed that he was very, very bendy, okay? And a few of you guys uh, have this condition when, you, when, you're, when you're twisting, you don't really have a natural stop. You can go as far as possible, you know. And 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 if you if you just put out your elbow, you watching now, just put out your elbow. And if your elbow doesn't stop there and it goes up even further, or you take your t- thumb like that and you twist it like that, and you can almost bend it over to, to the to the back, chances are that you have like a condition where all your joints they're like uh, too much movement in them. So. In, if you're in a yoga class, that will look good in the beginning, okay? But what happens is that you actually irritate your joints, your neck, your back, your, your hips, your knees, all of the joints, and that can create pain when you're doing yoga, okay? So if you have this condition where you're very bendy and you can more or less twist your body in any position, you shouldn't really be doing yoga, okay? Or at least you should do yoga, but not all of the exercises. What you should be doing is like lighter strength exercises at the gym okay so anyway back to our story sorry sorry about the sidetrack there so Chris were going to these yoga yoga classes and he was starting to experience more and more back pain day by day so he came in and he was we were looking up on a few of these yoga exercises I know most of them because I've, I've done yoga but but it was very clear to me that he shouldn't do yoga at all with with the stuff that he was experiencing. You know, he, by now he had radiation down his arms. Okay, uh, he had constant neck neck pain. He also had like a um, the lower back was really really painful, and he had a radiation down his his left leg all the way down to his toes. Toes. So I told him, you know, hey Chris, you need to stop this shit. You know, you, you can't stop stop going to the yoga classes. Okay, you should be walking, you should be standing up, and you should be doing light strength exercises for for a period of time, maybe three to six months. Don't do this yoga stuff now 
at this time. You might be able to come back to it, but right now, just, just pull on the handbrake. So, you know, when you're 25 years old, you think you're, you're, you, nothing can touch you, you know, you're, you're, you're immortal. So what Chris did, he did the total opposite of what I told him to. He actually, him and his uh, girlfriend, I think her name was Beth or something like that, they had um, uh, booked this big yoga trip down to India for two weeks, okay? Way back, six months back. So he, he, uh, he actually went for that. So his, his girlfriend and, and Chris went to this yoga trip retreat for two weeks down in India. They were sleeping on floors. They were doing yoga like three, four hours a day. And when he came back, okay, from this trip, uh, I'm not kidding you guys, okay? He, he could barely walk into my office. He, he was limping. He actually, I think he had a crutch with him, you know? And he was all messed up, all messed up. And this is a guy that was like fit, like super fit, 25 years old, at his peak of his physique. And this yoga stuff just, just destroyed his back and neck, okay? So he comes into my office, he sits down, and he's, he's almost in tears. He's, Chris is almost crying, you know? So he, he, he can barely feel his, his leg, you know? Uh, he, he's, he's weak in his leg, he, he's dropping stuff because his hands are all messed up. He's in constant neck and back pain. So I t tell him, you know, Chris, you, you need an MRI on your neck and your back, okay? Because I think you have like her a few herniated discs in your neck and back. That's actually when the disc in your neck or back, it ruptures and it runs out. It's like, almost like toothpaste. That's what it looks like. And it presses on the nerves. And this is what causes the, this kind of pain, okay? So he takes off, he goes up to the emergency room and they actually, uh, give him an MRI for his neck and back, okay? It takes a few days to get the results. He, come back, he comes back in, and it shows that he has like uh, one big herniated uh, disc at C5, C6 level here. It's a specific level in the, in, the, in the neck. And then also two herniated discs in his lower back, okay? Big, really big. So he's off work, uh, he's on painkillers, and he's in bad shape, you know? So, guys... Uh, I'm not telling you this to, in order for you not to, to do yoga, okay? I'm still, my, my point around yoga is still, I think it's good, okay? But you need to make sure that if you perform yoga, you do it under the supervision of someone that actually knows what they're talking about, okay? It can't be this super guru just telling you what, like all kinds of stuff, and, and you're just listening and you're not listening to your own body, okay? You need to listen to your own body. Definitely, that, that's also, and number two, you need to perform it gradually, okay? You can't go hardcore, hardcore too quick, okay? And if you have this condition, number three, if you have this condition where your body, your joints, you're very bendy, you can do all kinds of twists very quick, then you might not really wanna to put too much of your time and effort into yoga, because then you have a condition where, where that can actually irritate your, your neck and back. And you need to do light strength training, okay? And, and think about that. You can still do yoga, but don't do it to the extreme, okay? And don't have it like your only form of, of, of training. Very, very important to, to, to think about that, okay? And if you're doing the headstands, you definitely need to make sure that you, 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 if you start to experience pain and you have radiation down your arms and you, you, you just, it messes up with your neck, you might wanna keep off from that, okay? And any like very, very extreme stretches for a long period of time, you, need, you need, need to think, just listen to your body, okay? And if you're starting to experience back pain, you need to talk to the person uh, having the group, but if they tell you, you know, you just work, work through the pain, okay? That's, that's, that's bull crap, that's bull crap, okay? Then you need to just switch places, find someone else or, or, or find some other exercise, okay? Okay guys, take care, I love you, I'll talk to you tomorrow, and guys, remember, you're just one step away from healing your back pain. Take care, bye-bye. Want more back pain secrets? Then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book, Back Pain Secrets, at backpainsecrets.com. Inside this book, you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.